Welcome one and all, I'm Alexis, aka The Sloth Reader, and I'm here today to do the Grinch book tag. I was tagged by Cass over at What Cass Fred to do this tag, so thank you so much for tagging me, Cass. So basically, this tag is originally by Thoughts on Tomes. I will leave her revamped version of this tag down below that she recently did. And let's just go ahead and get into it. Question number one is half of the lights on the Christmas tree are burnt out. Name a series that started out good and then proceeded to go downhill. And controversial opinion, but for me personally, I have to go with the Throne of Glass series by Sarah J. Mass. Um, the first three books in the series I absolutely love. You guys know I've talked about it before that this book is so special to me. I love Air of Fire. Um, I have a tattoo from Air of Fire. Like, the first three books in the series I really loved. I gave the first one four stars and I gave books two and three both five stars. And I've only read up to Queen of Shadows. I haven't read Empire of Storms yet. However, I didn't like Queen of Shadows nearly as much as I liked Air of Fire and Crown of Midnight. And the stuff I've heard about Empire of Storms, I don't like the direction the series has like kind of started heading. Um, and so like the characters feel very different for me now than they did when the series originally started and so like the characters I'd fallen in love with and the story I'd fallen in love with it feels like it's not the same story for me anymore um so yeah that's why I have to go with this. Question number two is annoying great aunt Sally who just will not leave you alone. Name a book that you didn't enjoy but everyone else seems to so it just will not leave you alone. I have so many I feel like I could choose for this um, but ultimately I have to go with one that I think I see at least once a day on Goodreads. I see at least one person reading it on Goodreads like every day. Um, and that is the All for the Game trilogy by Nora Sokovic. I have gone on and on about how much I don't like this series, so I'm not going to continue to do it here. Um, but you guys know I have a strong, passionate dislike. So. I did not like it and everyone else seems to love it and I just can't escape it. It's everywhere I look. Question number three is your pets keep knocking over the Christmas decorations, which by the way, caveat, that's why I don't put up decorations for Christmas because I have two cats who would be all over that stuff in a heartbeat. Wish I could put up a Christmas tree. But I can't. And the question is to name a character who kept messing things up for everybody but you can't pick a villain. And for this one I'm gonna go with Delilah Bard from the Shades of Magic series by V.E. Schwab. Now personally I actually like Lila. Um, I always read her as being an unlikable frustrating character um, but in this series man every decision she makes pretty much puts somebody else like in a tough situation and there are so many times in the series when every other character is going the Lila don't do the thing and she's like screw you I'm gonna do it anyway and then they end up being in a really terrible situation because she can't listen to other people when they're like don't do the thing but I always read that as being very intentional to like why she's such a frustrating character um so like I like Delilah Bard but she messes stuff up all of the time. Question number four is you hear your parents putting out the presents and you learn that Santa's not real and that is to name a book that you were spoiled for. And I actually am going to go with the A Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. Now first off there's a lot to spoil in here. Um, this book does not have, this series did not have one plot twist. This series has like thousands of plot twists. Um, but when I was in high school um, I actually, the, one of the girls I was friends with in high school, she read and loved the series and I actually asked her, um, for a couple of spoilery things, um, because I find with especially long, thick fantasy series, um, I kind of like to know some spoilers, like I don't mind being spoiled, because I kind of like, like, knowing what's gonna happen so that I, A, I can pick up on stuff in the earlier books before it happens, um, but also so that I can kind of see like the groundwork for these events. Um, so yeah, so I mean before, I pretty much knew everything that happened in A Storm of Swords, I think before I even finished A Game of Thrones. Um, which I know a lot of people don't like spoilers. Spoilers actually don't bother me that much in the case when they're like part of a really big fantasy series. Um, cause it's like motivational for me to know what's gonna happen cause I'm like cool I want to pick it up and see that happen. So. Yes, for me it was A Song of Ice and Fire. Question number five is it's freezing outside. Name a character that you couldn't connect with. And this is another one you guys have heard me talk about before, but I have to go with Vin from the Mistborn series by Brandon Sanderson. 
I recently talked about this in my November wrap up, but Vin is a character I just can't connect to. Like nothing about her individually connects with me as a person. And I've said this before where Vin, for me, feels like a teenage girl written by a grown man. And so I feel such a disconnect from Vin's character and that is a huge part of why I just can't, I don't like her character is because like I just find myself constantly getting frustrated with her character and the choices Brandon Sanderson makes in regards to her character. So yes, I know a lot of people deeply, deeply love Vin, but I just, I can't connect with her. <laughs> Question number six is Mariah Carey's All I Want For Christmas Is You is giving you some strong anti-romantic feelings. Name a couple that you couldn't stand. This is another one that you will have heard me talk about in recent wrap-ups, um, and that is like, I don't like Juliet with either options in the series. I don't like Warner and I don't like Adam and I don't like Juliet with either one. Now I've mentioned this, I haven't read the final book in the series yet, um, but unless there are like some crazy plot twists, and there might be, but like there are two scenarios in my head, I don't want to say them because of spoilers, but there are two scenarios in my head and those are the only two situations where I will ever ship Juliet with either of these men. And if it's not one of those scenarios is how this book ends, nothing's gonna change because I don't, again, I don't like Warner, I don't like Adam, and I don't want Juliet to be with either one of them. Unfortunately, I know how this ends, but I don't like her with either one. So question number seven is that scratchy homemade wool sweater you got for Christmas last year and you just can't bring yourself to get rid of it and it's basically to show some books on your shelves that you've had for a long time but you don't have any motivation to read and yet you still won't get rid of them. And I don't have an answer for this. Um, back in March before I moved, I unhauled like over 90 books that I wasn't interested in reading. So everything I currently have on my shelves is all stuff I genuinely do want to read. Obviously some of it I'm more inclined to read than others, but everything on my shelf I still realistically see myself reading. So I don't have an answer for this one. Question number eight is grandma got run over by a reindeer and it's to name a character death that you're still upset for. I'm going to non-spoilerly discuss this and then I'm going to spoilery discuss this. So the book I'm referencing is in Mockingjay. There is a character who dies in Mockingjay. Um, and this is not, I'm not going to spoil anything right now, but there's a character who dies in Mockingjay that I, it's been like over five years since I've read this book and I'm still upset about it. I'm so angry because I don't understand for the plot why this character had to die. Like there are, char there are other characters who die in the series and some of them I'm like cool I understand why for the plot this needed to happen but the character I'm talking about I don't fathom why that decision needed to be made. Don't get it. So that's the non-spoilery part. Now I'm going to talk spoileries. So I will have a spoiler warning on screen so just skip ahead until the spoiler warning is no longer on screen and or when I get to the next question. So the character I'm talking about um, is of course Finnick Dare in Mockingjay. I, I don't understand for the plot why Finnick's character needed to die. Like his death didn't move the story forward his death was literally just to make readers sad. Why? Why couldn't you let the poor man, after everything he's been through, just be with the girl he loves and like raise their kid? Like, why you gotta do that, Suzanne Collins? Like, Finnick didn't need to die, okay? And I'm pissed, five years later, that you still made it happen. And I'm never gonna forgive you for it. I will, like, die on a hill being upset about Finnick's death. So, that's my answer. Question number nine is the malls are crowded with holiday shoppers and that is to name a book series that went on too long or has too many books. And I already told Cass I was going to steal her answer but I'm going to 100% steal her answer and I have to go with Immortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare. Um, now hear me out, the original first three books in the series I loved. I read them when I was in high school and they were one of my favorite book series at the time. I absolutely adored them. And then the second half of that trilogy came out and I read the first the first book number four in the Mortal Instruments and I was like this is so unnecessary and nothing happened in that book and so I was like 
why did why did this decision need to be made? You know, I felt like the trilogy originally wrapped up really well. I just felt like the second trilogy part of the Mortal Instruments was unnecessary. To further that, um, so I never read books five and I never read book six. Um, and I actually googled how the series ended and I honestly, like, to be real with you, think it's a stupid ending. Um, reading how that series ended I think is dumb. Um, granted, I'm missing a lot of the nuance because I didn't read the books, but I'm not going to read the books because I've heard from other people that books five and six are just as slow and unnecessary as book four was. So I'm not going to read it. And so for me that sucks because that second part totally ruined my love for the first trilogy because it just is so freaking unnecessary. Question number 10 is The Grinch. Name a main character that you hate and you can't pick a villain. So like, no one is gonna be surprised when I come up in here and say my least favorite main character of all time is Tessa Gray from The Infernal Devices. I, I think I've at least made five videos where I've talked about how much I don't like Tessa. Every part of me doesn't like Tessa Gray. There will never be a part of me who likes Tessa Gray. I refuse to finish the trilogy because A, I've already looked at the ending and I think the ending is stupid. And also B, because uh, I hate her. <laughs> I hate her very strongly and I hate... I don't like her. I do not like her. I will never like her. I just don't like her decisions. I don't like her Mary Sueness. I don't like anything about her. There you go. I don't like Tessa Gray. It's part of the reason I'll never love The Infernal Devices, which sucks because again, I actually loved books, the first two books, uh, and then the ending of book two happened and I went, no. And then I noped out of that and I'm never gonna finish it. But it doesn't matter because I already looked up the ending and I think it's stupid, so there you go. Alrighty guys, so that is the Grinch book tag. So basically this is me just hating on some faves. I would absolutely love to know what's a main character you guys strongly dislike. Again, you can't pick a villain. Um, if you guys like what I do on this channel, I upload videos on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays, and I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye!